Hello Libra, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be from the 1st to the 7th of February 2021. So what do we have for Libra please? Angel Spirits Guides, message for our lovely Librans, thank you. For the week I've got two cards, oh my goodness. <laughs> I've got the Wheel of Fortune and the Chariot. That's a combination and a half. Very nice. Okay. What do we have for Libra, please? Angel Spirits Guide. Message for Libra. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> joy and delight. Open your heart to joy. Definitely feels like that, I have to say. And what do we have for Libra, please? Angels, Spirits, Guides, message for Libra. The situation will improve. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to pull three cards, Libra. The first card is the issue or challenge you face for the week. Second card is Advice from Spirit. Third card is the outcome. And then we clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. What do we have for Libra, please? Angels, Spirits, Guides. Message for our lovely Librans. Thank you. First to the 7th of February, 2021. Thank you. Thank you. Card is the Hermit Reversed. In your challenge. Ace of Cups is advice from Spirit. Very nice. And we have the Three of Pentacles in your outcome. So can we clarify the cards on the table for Libra, please? Angel Spirits Guides, 1st to the 7th of February, 2021. Thank you. Okay, so I've got the hanged man. He's kind of come out on the side, but I'm just going to put him as... Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll take that into account. We have the Ace of Cups, and that's clarified with the world. Very nice. And the Three of Pentacles. Look, we have the Queen of Cups. Ten of Pentacles, Libra. Very nice energy indeed. Okay. Wow. So we have two cards of Cancer, Queen of Cups and the Chariot. And I have to say, you know, you might be dealing with a Cancer or a Cancer might be coming into your life. Can be another water sign or somebody who embodies the energies of the Queen of Cups. Male or female energy. It is a general reading. But the chariot is a card of overcoming challenge um, by perseverance, by taking control of a situation, by sheer willpower. This is heading for success, victory, because you've been challenged but overcome that which challenged you with determination and action. And the, the universe is saying, for some of you, you know, I mean, again, this can also be a shift card as well. So there is definitely some kind of shift coming your way. For some of you, it feels like you have had to overcome something in your challenge position. Um, and the Wheel of Fortune is things are turning in your favour. You know, things are turning around here. It definitely feels for some of you, there's good luck, good fortune, expansion, growth, opportunity coming into your life, things happening when they're meant to happen, divine timing, orchestration. It can sometimes feel, feel Libra, that things are beyond your control, you know, that whatever you do, things are just out of control, you know, beyond your control sometimes with these cards. And you've been grappling to pull things into balance. But it is an energy of that it's divine time and divine orchestration. Things happen when they're meant to happen. And there's a reason that everything that the divine knows. So it is just an energy of, 
you know, this is you aligning with your destiny, moving towards your destiny, things turning in your favour, things beginning to open up. And it's, it's very much to do with bringing new joy and delight into your life. We have open your heart to joy because we have the cup of joy here. Um, so it feels very much in line with that here. The situation will improve. So lovely energy. There's an energy here of isolation, feeling on your own. Also withdrawal. I mean, the home is a healing energy. It could be for those reasons. But feeling lonely, it can be a card of loneliness as well. And again, this hanged man energy, waiting. Waiting for to, to be released from feeling stuck, of being, feeling on your own. You know, so... It feels to do with love, romance, relationships. Now, you know, this could be to do with COVID. For some of you, this could be separation from somebody, you know. Um, I'm definitely getting that for some of you. But it can also be where you might have been recovering or healing um, and you're just fed up of being on your own and you're waiting for something or someone new to come into your life it can be that energy as well um definitely get that with the hanged man energy yeah just things not it feel i mean sometimes in in the reverse position it can be about delays or resisting change as well for some of you so that might resonate for some of you um, but it definitely feels like you're you're just waiting, you know. And I definitely get this with these cards because it feels like you have persevered, you've taken action, and finally it definitely feels like there is some shift coming your way. Now is the time, divine timing, divine orchestration. It feels to do with love, romance, relationships. Because something is finally ending, you know. This is the end of a cycle. Um... And it's where you're ready to step through to a new phase of your life. The world is a card of completion. The period of waiting is over. Uh, definitely an energy of maybe you've been tested. Um, yeah. Tested by being on your own or by being isolated from somebody or isolation is doing your head in. It can be that kind of energy, but it feels for some of you there is some kind of shift coming this is also a card of victory you know very much like the chariot there is some kind of victory you know the effort that you've been putting into something finally you will be rewarded because this is where you're drawing the line under one period of your life and a new beginning is opening up we have the ace of cups which is the cup of joy and it definitely feels for you having feelings for somebody new or it can well be new love entering your life. If there's been boundaries, restrictions, limitations, again, it feels for some of you that, you know, you might be reconnecting with somebody as well. Um, but it's a new beginning energy, the Ace of Cups. It's a card of joy, happiness, the beginnings of contentment, love, overflowing. You know, it's that kind of energy. And it's given to you by God, the divine, the universe. This is now the time for you to step through to a new phase of your life. Something is finally completed. And this is where someone new is coming into your life. So it feels very beautiful because the King of Cups is holding this, isn't she? So the Queen of, Queen of Cups is holding this. Um, yeah. And it feels to do with love, romance, relationships. Um, it feels that what this, this new love is, or the reconnection to somebody, this is, again, I mean, this can be to do with property, moving in together. Um, yeah, it can also be to do with 
if it's not to do with moving in together you know like i said it can be some kind of i was definitely feeling some kind of isolation or separation from somebody as well um but for some of you it feels like new love too coming in and this is a card of common values common goals building something solid for the future so you have common interests and it's a good foundation a good match uh, you make a good team that's what the cards are saying to you this offer of love if it's to do with new love it will come and it will come, it feels like there'll be a shift and it'll be to do with divine timing. So again, this energy of it just happening can be a card of coincidence, can be a card of synchronicities, can be a card of things just happening like a domino effect of how this person might enter your life. But there is definitely some kind of teamwork. This is something solid, stable to build on for the future. Because we have the Ten of Pentacles here, which is about marriage, can be about long-term committed relationship, family. Um, very, very beautiful. Uh, you know, common values, common goals that build uh, the legacy of the family, you know, generations of the family. Um, you know, ultimate commitment to each other, uh, the value of each other, the exchange of values to each other, you know, it feels very beautiful here with the Ten of Pentacles. So it feels that there's, the cards are saying, either you might have been isolated by somebody and you've been waiting for something to happen, or you might have been lonely. This is about to come to an end, that's what Spirit is telling you, but it was all a part of divine timing, divine orchestration. There's definitely new love or reconnection coming your way the new beginning and it definitely feels again this energy of love moving in with somebody or having the teamwork um approach you know being a good team to build something solid stable for the future so this is a long-term relationship coming here and it's divinely timed so no wonder it feels joy and delight because it feels for some of you that this is going to definitely go the distance. The message is either way, Libra, the situation will improve whether you're on your own and you're looking for love or you're isolated from somebody and you're looking for love. This testing phase of your life will end and it will end and herald in, you know, a new, a new phase, a beautiful new phase, the joyous new phase. So lovely, lovely energy for that reason. So I'm going to pull a final card here. Final message, please, for Libra. Final message for Libra, thank you. We have moon energy, surrender to the natural ebb and flow of life. If you're feeling confused, this fairy comes to calm emotions and reassure you that peace of mind is possible. Very nice energy indeed. So I hope you enjoyed the reading, Libra. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.